Okay, in this video I want to explore how we can remove the random element from the guessing game. I want the computer to guess that its number in a more logical way. So I'm actually going to remove all the things to do with random. Now when I play this game with people, I always use the, the method of guessing halfway between the, high, the highest allowed value and the lowest allowed value. If I guess too high, I adjust the, um, the high value. And if I guess too low, I adjust the low value, and I always try and guess halfway. So let's explore how to do that. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, CPU number is halfway between the high number uh, at the start of the game. So that's high divided by 2, and that will guess 50 in the first instance. Um, now, if the... let's get rid of that bit there. If the guess is too high over here, then I'm going to use the same bit of code. We can guess halfway. Okay, um, and just in case it generates a float, I'm going to turn that into an integer. If it's too low, then to work out and to work it out, you just simply go, it's equal to the int, uh, oops, the int of high plus low, and I need to put that in brackets. So I want that to be done first. Divided by two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plus one. Um, uh, and we'll see why that happens in a moment. Well, actually, I'll remove that and I'll show you the error and then I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll explore why we need the one. But that's pretty much it. So let's take a look. So if I guess 50, if I put 50, it'll guess 50 in one go. If I do 75, it'll do it in two guesses. Okay, because it guesses 50, it's too low, so it adjusts the low range. Then we do high plus low, which is 150 divided by 2, is equal to 75. Now, if I do a number like 38, oh, I should run it first, shouldn't I? 38, it's taking way too many guesses. Um, so actually, this is why I do plus 1. And you'll notice here, it shouldn't take more than 7 guesses. So I run it again, uh, 38, and now it does 3 guesses. If I do something like 37... Let's run it again. It'll take seven guesses, which is the maximum it needs. Um, so our program's working. you just got to be aware of the maths. And it might be a good idea to run this into something like a Python visualizer to see what's going on with the numbers, to see if you can see the pattern. So be sure to check back later for more videos. I'll be posting them up uh, fairly frequently. So um, I hope you're enjoying programming in Python. Keep practicing and uh, mess around with the code, see if you can improve this further.